All right, so this is the flywheel on a 1999 Pontiac Trans Am. And this is the LS1 motor. So all, S, all LS1 motors are gonna look the same. And what I'm doing is checking the runout or the flatness of the flywheel. Right, so I've got the flywheel already torqued to spec. And you can see here, I've got my dial indicator set up with the plunger on the middle of the flywheel. All right, so now what I need to do is turn the flywheel and watch the dial indicator as I turn it. And that's gonna tell me how much variance there is in the flatness of the flywheel. All right, so that'll tell you if, you know, maybe you have an improperly machined flywheel and you're gonna have some uh, uneven distribution of friction and heat when you're applying your clutch. All right, so again, it's better if you have somebody helping you because then they could just go up front and turn the crankshaft bolt. That'll be way better, but I don't, so. I'm just doing this myself here with a crowbar. One tooth at a time. And I'm watching this dial indicator as I do it. And that's gonna tell me how much run out I have. Right, so that's how you do it. 